What's good, everybody? You rocking with your boy, Zar, and we're here on Right On Time, and we're going to get into it. Now, we got to really describe our scenario. We have a story with Asian Doll, and she's defending King Von, okay? Remember, they're comparing him to a serial killer because he did a, took a lot of life, and we're going to read about that. But quickly, we're going to go into him because we got to understand what he was doing in his past tense because he's passed away. So it's killed and killed us, okay? Literally, can't make this up. Luke chapter 13, verse 34. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee? How often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doeth gather her brood under her wings and ye not wander not? And ye would not. Okay, let's go here. I gotta understand this myself a little deeper. The same day, verse 1, the same day there came, 31, certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto thee, go ye and tell that fox, behold, I cast out devils and I do cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together as hen doeth gather her brood under her wings and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time I come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Right there, we're in tribulation. He's with us, but he's not with us physically. But when he comes back, everybody who denied him is going to be sorrowful. And people who watch for him are going to be joyful, no matter what they're going through. All joy to his followers, because they trusted and believed and told people and told them again and again that he was coming. And he's here. That simple. Can't make this up, man. To the reading of his word. Matthew chapter 23, verse 20, 37. You already know. we <laughs> Matthew chapter 23. All right. Starting the 34th verse. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes. And some of them ye shall kill and crucify. And some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. That upon you may come all the righteous bloodshed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of the Barakians, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou shalt killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wing, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So our generation, you know, God allow, we see him come back. That is what people's mentalities will be. They'll be thinking either as the Pharisees think, or they're going to be either be thinking as the disciples with joy to see him. Like, thank you, Lord. Like, like a sigh of relief because they've been sitting there pushing for him for so long and being persecuted. Okay. And let's get into her. Now, that was about him having been involved in so many murders and things. That's all at his blood. The moment he left this earth, he was going to pay for that way. Like what he did. It's not like he went to peace because he did peaceful things his whole life. Come on now. That's not what's alleged about this guy. It's a different type, man. All right. Now, Asian doll, literally doll, idol. It's right there. And then I don't even need to explain that. She's idolized. She's a celebrity. She's not in front of everybody just for play. She gets paid to do that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other God before me. None. You guys have other gods. Your actions, doing things. Even if you didn't do all that, 
Who did he put first? Was it Christ or not? I'm telling you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. God gives you everything you need. You hunt for what you want. And you hunting what you want, it makes you want more. And you put it above God. That's when it's a sin. You put God before that. You should be thanking him day and night if you got rich. On your knees, thanking him. Isaiah chapter 37 verse 19. And have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands. Wood and stone. Therefore, they have destroyed them. You can't have little knickknacks and things. That's evil. That stuff, none of it represents Christ. Christ is in your heart. He's in your mind. Put on the armor of God. You wear it. You carry it day and night. It's some, not something you seek out to put on or wear around your neck to show to someone. And say, I'm going to wear this so they know I'm a Christ believer. You know, he doesn't want that. So even if other people do it, I had to learn that. As you see, I'm not wearing anything on my neck anymore. I had to learn that. I didn't know that. All this stuff I had to learn myself. Okay. It's not just one dimensional. And that's important, guys. Do not be um, fooled. Christ is not mocked. Okay. Isaiah 30, verse 22. He shall defile also the coverings of thy graven images of silver and the ornaments of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Thou shalt say unto thee, get thee hence. You treat it like it's satanic. You know, get, get thee hence, Satan. Remember he told you. That's how you got to treat that stuff. It's cursed. It's all curses. Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 18. That profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it. The molten image in the teacher of lies that the maker of this work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. If this person is trustworthy and they're smart, why are they making veinless statues and figurines? If, that, if they're smart. Why? Because they're exactly... He's asking you. He said, if they're smart, why are they making dumb idols? God called them dumb idols. It don't mean anything. You're praying to nothing. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. Right there. Yo. Yo. Thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. Right there, yo. Right there. He just condemned the whole world. All you guys, all these celebrities, all these, all us as people, what are you chasing after? What philosophy are you thinking about? What are you saying? Like, oh, we were created out of eight. We evolved. It's wicked. It's evil. It's deception. You were created by Jesus Christ. He's telling you. Guys, man, they if they're smart and they read this, because they read it. Before me, right? Every Read everything, top to bottom, front to cover. What You missed this part. Did you miss this part? No, guys, they're lying to you. They don't want you to know this. That's why YouTube is going to, everything's going to act funny as it always has. Guys, they don't want you to know this. Romans chapter one, chapter one, first chapters. Because of that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, Neither were thankful, but became vain in their images and their foolish hearts was darkened. That's all these celebrities. Asian doll is so darkened. All she cares about is her profession. Nothing about God. Nothing. Professing themselves to be wise. They became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. Into birds, in the four-footed beasts, in the creeping things. Literally. These celebrities, somehow, this celebrity world shaped all of what we come and know, fancy cars, fancy jewels, all of that, to be graven images and us to lust after it. That's why they created it. That's why you see them getting big chains. They're making you lust after that. To think about that day and night and not about Christ. You have to turn from it. It's a graven image. That person will die and their jewels will be tossed in their casket. We're getting to that part where he's talking about all that stuff you chose, take it with you and be gone because he doesn't want to see it. 
you've been unclean. You have not worshipped the almighty God. You have not given any praise to him. Did nothing that is work in his kingdom. Remember, what work matters? Telling others about Jesus Christ. Guys, it's very serious. You have to take this serious. Even if you live life, even if you're doing work, you have to find time to talk to people you care about, about their relationship with Jesus Christ. You have to, if you love them or else we're getting there. Isaiah chapter 44, they that make a graven image are all of them vanity and their delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not nor know what they may be ashamed who have formed the God or molten a graven image that is profitable for nothing. Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, they are men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up, yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The smith with the tongs, both worketh in the coals, and fashioneth it with hammers, and worketh it with the strength of arms. Yea, he is hungry, and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water, and his faint. Guys, God is the real savage. Do you get that? Remember what I told you hell was like. These guys work over hot fire trying to create an image to not trust in God and get tossed in the hot fire. Yo, he's the real savage. He said he's hungry. He needs something to drink. Well, good. He can get used to that because while he's making that image, he'll be in a place where it's hot and it's just like that image with coals burning him. Yo, don't play with God. At all. He's not playing at all, yo. For real. Asian doll, stop playing with God. Stop. He's not playing. You putting all those riches first. You worried about King Von. You need to be praying for your soul. Asking God to lead you. Because who do you serve? Who's your God? If it ain't Jesus Christ, you need to look in your life. It's very serious, man. Very serious. He's not playing with this scripture. He just said a workman over a fire creating an image. The, the same necklace and watch and chain and things you're dangling. The guy who over the hot fire that did that and you wrapped it around you. You're going to go end up going to a place that's hotter. A place that's much more graven. Much more grave like. Much more grave situation. With your soul. Man. You have to turn. King Von, it may have been too late. But you're still alive. You got to find Jesus Christ, man. Very serious. Very serious. It's very serious. Because you're stuck in a vain world. You're blinded as he said. All you see is your jewels. All you see is your money. All you see is your fame. All you see is being a celebrity. All you see is what can you eat. All you see is what can you get next. All you see is the game. All you see is music. All you see is everything but Jesus Christ. And the thing is, he's saying, in your iniquity, you keep playing with me. I'm going to step up and I'm going to take away a lot and hope you see. You still don't see. I'm going to take you away. God's not playing. He means this to everyone, yo. We must seek a relationship with Jesus Christ. But I'm telling her, because when you're rich, you're stuck in a world. Remember, it's easier for a camel to fit through an eye of a needle than a rich man to make it to heaven. Because he's worried about his money, protecting all his riches on earth and not giving praise to the God in heaven. That's the problem right there. When you're doing that, you're causing issue. You're causing problems for the real God because you're also coercing others and causing them to lose their salvation, which is one of the worst sins. Is that why they make you guys so rich? Because you're taking people's salvation. Just a thought. Wow. Wow. Wow, man. Okay. Last one. Psalms chapter 115. Four. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they not they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They have make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusts them. And the, <gasps> yo, that is what you are when you get sent to hell. You literally are in that condition. You can see, you can feel everything, but you cannot do anything else but burn in hell. Literally, 
You become the idol. You just like the idol, you become the idol housemate. You're always hot. You get heated to a high temperature. Right now, guys. Right now, pray in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, show me what it is I need to do. Show me how I need to be. Show me what it is I need to do, Lord. Be honest and say that right now, right on time.